Do you want to up level your Facebook Live broadcasts? One way you can do that is by sharing your keynote slides or your presentation decks on a Facebook Live broadcast. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. Cheryl Pluff here, video strategist. I help entrepreneurs increase their authority and income with video. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment, would love to know your feedback on what I'm teaching today and be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. New videos come out every Thursday. So this is strictly a computer based video today. I'm going to go to the computer and show you what it looks like using my favorite tool. To share your keynote slides on Facebook Live, there are a couple of ways that you can do that. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it, and that is using a third party app called Ecamm. I will link to it in the description of this video. In Facebook itself, there is a uh, an application, uh, uh, an interface called Facebook Live Producer that's new in 2020. And I actually have created a video about how to use that function. And you can watch that video as well. I'll link to it as well in the description. That video is really more about how you would use Facebook Live Producer to go live showing you on the screen. What I want to do in this video is show you how you would share a keynote deck on the screen rather than your, yourself. Now in Facebook Live Producer, there is also a more advanced way to share a screen and that is using an encoder. It's a more advanced way of doing it. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today. I'm going to keep it on the simple side for you today. So for those of you who are technologically maybe uh, challenged or feel that you are, then you're going to definitely want to look at a program like Ecamm, which is what I'm going to demonstrate for you today. So let's say that uh, you have Ecamm and you have installed it on your computer. What you would do is you would go to your, and I'm on a Mac because I'm an, I'm an Apple girl. So you're going to go to your computer and locate the Ecamm uh, program. So I'm opening up Ecamm at this point. And once it opens, you'll see the interface that for, for Ecamm itself. And just to give you a quick orientation of what you're seeing, we have the menu bar at the top. We have different functions of whether you are sharing your camera, your screen or a video file. There's the go live button at the bottom in blue. You can enter a description and you can also choose on the right hand side where you're going live, you're going live on Facebook. In this case, yes, we're going live on Facebook, not on YouTube or any other of the platforms. So we're going to choosing Facebook. I'm posting as myself. I'm posting to my inner circle uh, group. I can post to any group I want, but I'm choosing my inner circle group, which is my uh, clients only Facebook group, my private group. And it is an unscheduled live stream. We're going live right now. So here I am, and this is what it looks like. Uh, in order, to, so I'm going to go live. I can go live. I'll just click the button and hello, inner circle. Cheryl here. I'm doing a test for, it's not really a test. I'm doing a demonstration <laughs> that's going to go into a YouTube video that I'm producing. So, um, nice to see you. So here I am. And this is now what it looks like when I'm broadcasting live. So in order to share my keynote, slides on this Facebook live broadcast that I'm doing, I'm going to need to migrate from the camera icon, which is the one that's shown in white here in solid white. I need to now start sharing my screen in order to bring up that application, that slide deck and share that with the group. So that's what I'll show you next. So what you'll want to do is locate the share screen icon at the top of the page or you can go to the menu bar itself and look for share screen. Either or will bring you to the same place. When you click that, a pop-up box comes up and it will say share. It's either going to say current application. If you click on the little arrow, you'll have the choice to either choose your entire screen or any other application you have open. In this case, I had Loom open, but that's not what we want. We want entire screen. Now you're going to take your cursor. You're going to move away from the Ecamm interface and go down to the keynote itself. So click on keynote, which you should have already up and open to share. Click on that, bring up your keynote presentation, click on the play button, which is what will play it full screen. At that point, you can use your, your, uh, your mouse or the trackpad on your computer, and you will simply forward and advance those slides just as you would any keynote presentation. So you're going to click 
and it's going to bring you to the next slide and to the next slide. So if you are sharing this on a Facebook live broadcast, you would simply bring it up and then you click off you go with the next one and you can explain that slide you could still uh, interact with people because in the ecamm program the comments do show up on the screen so you're able to have that conversation and interactivity with them and then once i'm done explaining in this case the 30 ways that video is valuable to your business uh, then i move on to the next slide and talk about the the statistic that's on the screen so clearly you want to have your slide deck already prepared in advance of the facebook live so that you're prepared to share it. So there you have it. That's a way that you can up level your Facebook live broadcast. You can teach, you can mentor, you can show your keynote slides, you can demonstrate visual aids. There's so much that you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to watch these other videos on my channel as I have new videos coming out every Thursday. Be sure to subscribe and share the videos with your network. It helps me get my message out to more people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.